What's the crack, lads? We are back. It is Thursday. Is there any hype there? We're going to go through everything. This is your weekly roundup. If you're not at your console, you can't check yourself. We're going to go through everything. Events, updates, part 3 to what is going to be coming in V3.2, or the lack thereof, and also all of the cards as follows, right? So we get our login bonus as normal. We get 30,000 GP from the admin. They also talk about the issues that were being had with online user matches, okay? So people were actually finding it hard to get games, and the games were very laggy. There was a lot of in, uh, issues with this, uh, with the matchmaking. So they give us 30,000 GP, <laughs> okay? Um, now, GP is going to be a little bit wordy now, actually. Um, so we'll get through with that as well. Now, we don't actually have a part three to the V3.2 update. I thought we would, but I reckon that they'll probably wait until next week to announce it. It seems to be that there is going to be more coming um, from what I've heard, uh, but I do feel like that they're probably going to hold it back a little bit, right? Now, this originally, we, we did a video on it last week um, where they talked about the free reset, right? Uh, and they were talking about the progression points being reset. I did a video on it yesterday, right? I did, I did a video on it yesterday. Um, they're planning on holding limited time campaigns where progression points will become free once again. This will tie in with the new update, I think, as to where you will have to have players in certain um, nationalities or certain leagues uh, where you'll need to link up, where there'll be certain thresholds that you'll need to hit. So that's probably why they'll bring that back. But yeah, just for confirmation, right? Yesterday, we did a video on retraining players for free. So if we go into uh, any of these cards here um, and we go into Messi, uh, when you actually reset this player now, right? It, it's going to cost money, man. It's going to cost 600000 to reset Messi, which, listen, this is going to be a big issue for a lot of people, especially if you've retrained your player wrong, or even worse, if you train a player now and it just doesn't work for you and you're missing a couple of key bits with that player, you are going to, it's going to hit you, man, in the pocket now with the GP. And I know a lot of people have a ton of GP, like I have a lot of GP. Um, now, if you had reset, originally, if you had reset players, right, uh, which we had reset some of the players there, like Donnarumma or any of those, if you had reset some players from yesterday before the cut, cut off, right, you can retrain them now for free because you'll have the points. That's what we did the video on. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one, man, because I do think that a lot of people have probably like trained their players in a certain way. And if the, if the meta does change, or even if the, the passing changes, the shooting changes, the physicality changes, any changes that come in V3.2 uh, or further on, it's going to be difficult to get your team exactly right because, yeah, they're not free anymore, right? So moving on for that, I'm going to keep this video very short and sweet. We have got the events. We're going to go through them. Authentic is still ongoing with the USL. Uh, the friend match, trial match, that will be updated probably in the next update. Into Dream Team itself and the events. We do have a Brazilian featured event here as well. So that's going to be against the AI. That's going to give you your player of the week spin. We'll get to that. You also have, excuse me, you also have the Mexican clubs and the user matches against the Mexican club. So this is for your 50 coins and skill trainers. And this is going to be for another free spin. So you're actually getting two free spins here on the worldwide November 30th players, right? So these two are going to be the ultimate prize on that and skill trainers. We also have them ongoing, the victory campaign and all of those if you haven't already completed those. In other words, um, they're going to be rinse and repeat. That's what I like to call it, right? eFootball League is ongoing until the 7th of the 12th. So that's staying steady. Um, that's not changed. That's not updated. Um, and then also on top of that as well, we do have uh, the match pass, which is going to be the 7th as well. So I've completed the match pass there. So there's nothing left for me to play with. New objectives in there as well. Um, if you haven't completed them, but there is career objectives still to complete as well. And then there is nothing in the shop, right? So again, a lot of people are waiting for stuff to come into the shop. Uh, just a quick run there uh, that there is nothing in there, right? There's nothing new. So I reckon that that'll come in the big update, right? Now we're going to go through a little look at what's coming and what's obviously here as well, right? So you can decide whether you spin or not. We do have the special player packs. We're going to have the worldwide November uh, player of the week. And we get two free spins of that in the events which we just covered. These are the players that you see here. Uh, you've got Rodrigo, who's down as a center forward. He looks to be the business. You've also got Havertz. You've got Garnacho, whose card is phenomenal uh, in fairness. 99 acceleration, 97 speed, and 81 finishing. And of course, he's going to have acrobatic finishing as well. This is what, in my opinion they need to do with the player of the weeks, right? Whole player Garnacho, which is unique in itself. 
99 acceleration, which is very unique in itself, right? And also he's got an 89 dribbling, 81 finishing, 89 balance. This card is bred for one purpose only, right? Like the Urukai and Lord of the Rings, one purpose only, pure destruction, man. This is an insane card and especially a kind of a unique card. This is where I think the game needs to go a player of the weeks. We'll get into that later on in the stream. But unique cards that you have no interest in spinning for ordinarily, but you're like, oh, but I really love this card. Like McTominay when they released him or Giroud that could play in goals. Um, otherwise, we've got Torres, Dembele, Bruno, um, we have Mancini and we have Candreva, we have Moignan as well as a centre or as a, a goalkeeper and Pau Torres, as I said, as a central back. Uh, Dembele looks pretty decent, 94 speed, 92 acceleration, 94 dribbling, Dembele is a monster and Rodrigo, of course, playing as a deep line forward, brilliant speed, brilliant pace, brilliant dribbling and possession and 88 finishing. Another insane card with super sub, he's also got double touch, flip flap and soul control and one touch pass this is going to be a broken broken card but we'll do a full review on them later on today uh because i know people like them we also have the brazilian selection so again uh, let me just hide my face here a second boys because I, um one second now let me see how i do this yes there we go so let me just hide my face so we can have a full look at the players there right i'll do a review on them if you want a dedicated review with all the brazilian players let me know as well um there's some nice players in here but they're probably more starter pack kind of players right and then we also have the Liga BB, uh, BBVA MX. And of course, Bellingham and Co. are still ongoing for another few days. And this one is the selection here, right? So you can see all the players here. Um, we will be getting updates on the 7th of December uh, with all of these, right? So all of these Golden Boys, J League, and Liga BBVA for the nominating contracts. There's only five days left in some of your nominating contracts, right? So I only have one that's going to be ending on the 5th of December. And then I have another one that's going to be on the 1st uh, as well, or the 3rd or the 1st. So be careful with them. And all of these then will be in two weeks' time. They'll all be kind of like the different dates, right? On top of that, lads, we do have a look ahead as to what's coming, right? So we are over here on eFootballDB. And we are going to be getting on the 4th of December, which is next Monday, we're going to be getting Italian League selection. So we've had the Spanish, we've had the English League. They're working their way through for Tessi and Guisa. Um, there's a multiple there of the two of them. And then you've got McKenney and Renata Sanchez. Now, there is a couple of more in there. But they just haven't been loaded up yet. Um, so we will, re we, we will see um, with the database after that. But also, we are going to be getting new legends, which are going to be Pirlo, it looks like, has been added. Hollett has been added. And also, Sorginio. So there is one or two more added as well. But they look like the ones that are going to be there, right? So, um, yeah, for me at the moment, I think that uh, Hullet looks to be like an absolute beast. If you've missed my V3.2 video, as we're talking about it, or my Legend review or any of those, make sure and check them out. Again, we are going to be kind of predicting what level Hullet is going to be at. But even at 29, lads, he is going to be a beast. I mean, he's got everything. And the ball is just like a magnet to the Hullet cards, lads. I don't know what it is about him, um, but he's a beast. I mean, 85 pace, 85 speed and acceleration there. But he's also got really nice finishing into the 80, the passing into the 80s, the ball control into the 90s. It's a phenomenal card. Plus, you can still get a little bit of aggression in there as well as an AMF. And that's only with 29 points. And it's without the manager boost. And it's without the booster boost. So he's going to be a tank. We also have Pirlo here. Now, he will definitely have more levels than 24. This is just a placeholder at the moment. But again, you know what you're going to be getting with Pirlo. He can actually go to 80 acceleration. He's down as an orchestrator. Um, but he does have some really nice passing, of course. You won't need to you know, trade up that passing too much. Actually has got surprisingly good dribbling and tight possession. And of course, he's got 70 speed if you're sitting him as a deep, deep line orchestrator. Personally, I don't really like orchestrators, lads. They're not for me. Um, but I do think that this Pirlo is going to be a monster, especially with another five or six more levels onto this. Sergino, of course, then as well, is going to be a central midfielder. He's got some good player skills and some good ability, especially his speed, man. I mean, you'll be able to get like 85... Uh, 90 speed very very easily the same with the dexterity i always like players that are like that he's a box to box so you can put him a little bit defensive but he's more of an attacking uh central uh box to box rather than anything else good passing good dribbling and a very solid player if you're if you're going to spin for him so we will revisit that again but until then lads we will talk to you later we will be back 
very very soon we will be back with another video we will be live streaming today let me know what you guys think right we don't have an update yet as i said we don't have an update as to what else is coming uh we do have in our inbox a couple of apologies there at any login bonuses that you've yet to claim make sure and claim those um but yeah and you will get your two free spins but yeah the, the big one is going to be the contracts man the big one is going to be players that are out of contract and players that are going to have the player reset progression now i mean because if you do reset your players now um and obviously you'll be able to when the update comes you'll be able to give contracts back with gp but the gp is going to cost now with the player progression so as i said if i want to reset makalele it's 260 000 gp which is a lot of gp for people that aren't playing the game that long if you've collected a good bit fine um but yeah let me know your thoughts lads i will be back later don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, i'll talk to you in a bit peace like and subscribe